Hi and welcome to Simply Tech. Today I wanted to have a look at the Western Digital dashboard that allows you to manage your installed NVMe drives. A while ago I had a look at Samsung Magician, which was their NVMe management tool, but today I want to have a look at the comparable Western Digital product. When you start the program, this is the dashboard that you'll see right here in front of you. Across the top, there are a few little icons that allow you to navigate to different parts of the program. We've got status, performance, tools, and settings. Firstly, the software allows you to select the different drives. So if you have different Western Digital drives in there, you can have a look at them individually. In this case, I have one SN850 SSD. It's a 500 gigabyte boot drive, so we can see that on here. Now, if we click on the status button, it just gives you a very quick graphical representation of the status of the drive. In this case, it's telling me it's 500 gigabytes, how much I've used, how much is unallocated, and how much in other. And it'll show you in this circular graph how much you've used versus how much free space you have. Now, next to it is uh, another graph on there. I find this graph redundant because it's just the same information as you have there in the circular graph. Now, in the bottom left-hand corner, it gives us a very quick snapshot of the temperature of the drive. In this case, we're looking at Celsius, and we're just under 35 degrees. Next to that, we've got life remaining. Now, this being a very new drive, it's expected it's going to have 100%. And then the type of interface that we're using. So this is a Gen 4 4 lane drive connected to a Gen 4 slot. If we click on performance, we can have a look at the temperature. Now that's exactly the same as what was on the status. It does show you rolling temperature changes on there. You'll also get disk reads and disk writes on there. Now in this case, the drive is idle, so we're not getting any disk writes. If you click underneath that, what we get is the trim function. Now you can set it up to trim the drive. In other words, the data that you've removed off the drive is essentially allocated back to free space. And just clicking on trim will run that operation in the background. Now you can schedule it to run daily, weekly, monthly, or not at all. So each time you open the program, you can run it manually. And under that, we've got the right cache settings. Now, in most instances, you leave this enabled. So enable Windows right caching. The only reason that you would disable Windows right caching is when you're running performance benchmarks. Moving right along, we've got the tools tab. Now in here, you can update the firmware of the uh, drive itself. And it does allow you to update the firmware from a file on your PC. So you can just click the select file on there, navigate to where you've got it on your drive. And then of course, just update the firmware on there. Underneath that, we've got the erase drive. Now you can erase this particular drive given that it's got the operating system on there probably not the best idea but you can sanitize it if you plan on giving the computer away or giving the drive to someone else just get rid of all the data that's on it using the sanitize function on there now you can delete it using a usb drive so it does give you the provision to create a bootable usb drive to sanitize your operating system or the drive that you've got the operating system on and that's a handy little function so you can always keep that just at the bottom of a drawer take it out whenever you need to use it now under that is the stock standard smart diagnostics we did see this for the samsung uh, video that i did but you run this short test and it'll go through and have a look at you know any issues with the uh, the drive now you can run a short test or you can run an extended test short tests will usually suffice if you've only had the drive for a very short period of time now the other thing we've got here we can click on the device details and have a look at the type of uh, controllers that you're using again i don't use this very much but it'll just tell you the same information that you've had on the first screen so i find this a little bit redundant unless you want to get into the uh, nitty-gritty of how the drive is configured now the software does allow you to toggle into a gaming mode so if you look at the top right hand corner there we've got gaming mode on and off all it does is it tends to negate and turn off background operations so you're getting the best possible gaming experience all right now if we have a look at the settings in there as well stock standard there's nothing really amazing in here you can start it with windows so you can get all those live updates 
Uh, the other thing is that um, it will disable background tasks when minimized, so it, you won't be getting any of that live data coming through till you open the program again and get it out of the minimized state. Now one of the things that I found a little bit disappointing is running performance benchmark. You do need to defer to another program. Again, I use Crystal Diskmark to be able to get those performance benchmarks. Disappointing that you didn't get it here on the Western Digital program. Western Digital, if you do get a chance to see this, please consider putting those additional tools in there. Anyway, this is Simply Tech. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at the Western Digital dashboard. Remember to hit like and please consider subscribing for updates on new content.